Hey everybody, BrickLover18 here today with another behind the scenes Lego vlog. It is 2 p.m. in the afternoon and I finally have a day where I have the entire afternoon and the entire evening completely free. I have no engagements, no classes, no projects, no events, nothing at all. And I am so excited to just have an afternoon and a night dedicated to Lego. I have so much planned for today, so I thought I'd make a video taking you along the full tour and giving you a little behind the scenes look about what I've been doing in my Lego room recently as well as some of the big projects that I'm going to be doing today. For starters, one of the first things I have to do is work on my Bricklink store. So you all know this box of pieces have been here forever now. It's been like a few weeks, a few vlogs have gone by and I still have to sort them as well as the pieces down there and take a little load out to the dumpster. But I've got to sort all these very, very soon. As well as I've got a whole bunch of new Lego sets that I picked up from Facebook that I want to list on my Brooklyn store, which is really exciting. Can't wait to get them up there. As you can see over here, I'm not going to zoom in too, too much, but I have a bunch of orders that have now been paid for, and I just have to pack and get them out. I've caught up on my order so far, which is good getting the post offs because that's the hardest part. And today I'm going to be going through and doing the rest. I actually also made a trip to the Lego store. Here's a sneak preview. So I'm going to be filming a haul video of these two big bags bags of lego that i got and as you can see i'm actually missing some of my lights because i was making some videos over here i had audio problems like i discussed in the last vlog i think they're kind of figured out now i had another problem since i thought i fixed it all um which has been really annoying but the cameras are actually over here because this is another thing i've been working on so as you can see over here i've got the studio kind of all set up this is something i don't normally do but i as you can see i was filming the tour of the air force one set which is really exciting i built the air force one a little while ago now and this is the first time i was giving you a full comprehensive tour on camera so as you can see here's just like a little sneak preview of everybody on board but i'm going to edit that video and that video will probably be up before this vlog which is exciting so as you can see i've just got all the camera equipment over here i was filming that video with the the professional slider and everything like that the other day i just uploaded a review of the roman coliseum Honestly, I was super happy with how that video turned out. It took me way longer to edit than it should have. But I started adding lots of cinematic shots to it and things like that. So I've actually got a second video with just music overlaying and all the cinematic shots that I took for this review. Because I'm really proud of all those shots. This is one of the first times I really spent a lot of time and effort into a review to make it look pretty instead of just get the facts across because I wanted to do this set justice. So I'm really excited for that set, really proud of how that went down. And again, use the slider for that as well. Over here, as you can see, I added a couple of the new sets to the display case here. You know, I saw, you saw this in the last vlog, but the 501st Battle Pack on display is pretty new. So some of my next steps, as I said for today, I really want to work in the Bricklink store. So stay tuned for all this new inventory that's about to be added. I really want to pack some of the parts. I'm going to film the haul video and hopefully maybe start building some of these sets. You'll see what they are in the haul video, as well as I've got to clean up this side of the studio. Now that the review of the Air Force One is complete, I want to put that set back up here on the shelf and of course move my camera and everything over to the other side so it's really just going to be tidying up and getting things done so now that i've been talking for like three minutes i'm going to put the camera down do a little bit of a work and then i'll check in a little bit later all right so i just finished filming the haul video like i said i was going to here's just a recap of some of the sets i got very excited to start building these hopefully i'll maybe start the police station tonight uh, but we'll have to see how my to-do list is going because that is obviously top priority first. But here's just a little overview of the sets. And now that that's done, it's time to actually put away the rest of the camera equipment and lighting equipment right now and clean up this side of the studio because it is messy. I cannot remember for the life of me where I stored the last Lego bags that I got in a haul. I'm trying to clean up the Lego room and I don't want to throw them out because they're cool bags. But if you think I can remember where I put them, you're mistaken. So I've got my backlog spread out here as you can see lots of the bigger sets that I still have to build and then way at the back here I've got the NES box because I've got the NES I just finished building that but I haven't decided if I want to build a review on it so until I make that decision I'm going to leave the box assembled and then if I'm going to make a view review on it I'll do it and if not I'll eventually break down the box and add it over here to the box collection. All right so I got a bunch of the sets now listed on my Bricklink store. They're all in there. Go check them out. There's some really cool things in there. A lot of really old gift with purchases and things like that that you can't get anymore. So definitely go check that out. You're not going to want to miss it. I have a feeling this box is going to sell pretty fast. As well, as I mentioned, I finished my haul video. So I've come over here and put all the things that I need to make videos on. 
Uh, I've got some magazines and some books, some more Brickheads, Technic sets, Lego minifigures, more minifigures, the Valentine's Day set, and of course, the Lego City Road Plate set. Now I've got to move all this stuff and actually start packing some Bricklink orders. All right, so an hour and a half and five Bricklink orders later, I have got the orders from the day all packed up and ready to go to the post office for shipment. So I'll set these in my new Canada post box and I'll make sure to take those out tomorrow. And now I'm just doing some building. I, I've been building it for the last few minutes now, but I'm working on the new Valentine's Day set so I can review it this evening as well. Look at this guy all finished now. You'll have to stay tuned for the full review on my channel. All right, so it is getting late now. It is no longer mid afternoon. I've done quite a bit today. And I'm finishing off the night by making a few videos for my YouTube channel, of course. So the first one I started is this road plate. As you can see, I just filmed the intro to that. Uh, and then I'm going to go build it and, of course, film the rest of the video. As well as I'm just about to start filming the Valentine's Day bear. So that set is all built. You just watch me build it. I'm going to film that review tonight, get this video done. And I'll either build these base plates tonight. It's about 10.30 now, so I'll see when I finish making the Valentine's Day review and I might build the base plates up tonight, film the rest of that intro. And then when I come the next time, I'll do some rig configurations to the city, but we'll just we'll kind of see how the time goes. If it's going really well, I might just do it all tonight. All right, so the Valentine's Day set is reviewed now. Like I mentioned, the video is done. I've taken, I've just got to do the shots here now where the intro and outro with this cool backdrop as well. And I also just finished making the video about the Lego road plates and it completely started out something different. I originally was gonna do like a review and kind of a showcase of it. Well, I opened it up and I just didn't really wanna build this because I'm like, what's the point of showing that if that's not even what I wanna do? Why would I waste my time? So I just went ahead and put these right into the Lego city and holy crap, I'm really impressed. I'm really excited with how they look. I think they look awesome for $20, it does get you a pretty decent amount of road space. Like, I'm going to need probably, I'm if I go back to the Lego store, I'll probably try and get 10 more of these. Uh, just because I want to have them, I want to be able to build that. And I really need a lot more of these sidewalks. I might even have to order some of them on Bricklink. But as you can see, that looks really, really good here in my Lego city. And I wish the whole city uh, looked like that. So, I'm like I said in that video, I don't know when it'll be out compared to this one. But I'm really hoping to get a bunch more of these and completely do the entire city with those road plates. And now I don't really know what I'm gonna do with all these extra parts. I'll probably have to find somewhere for them to go. Now that it's almost 11.30 p.m., I think the last thing on tonight's agenda will be to film some unboxings of the new Series 20 Lego minifigures. So I am excited to sit down and open these minifigures up. Really excited for them. They look like a pretty cool series. So I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna wrap it up and call it a night. All right, so I just finished filming two separate videos of unboxing four minifigures in each of the new Series 20 series. As you can see, spoiler alert, I got five each. You'll definitely be seeing this video before both of these are up, but I got five different minifigures in total. Both videos are filmed. I had a lot of fun opening them up. And as you can see now, it is 11.40 p.m. I need to go home, I need to go to bed, I've got an early morning, so I'm gonna wrap it up here. So thanks everybody so much for watching the day in the afternoon of my Lego vlog. I had a lot of fun making a bunch of videos today, filming a haul video, getting down on some of the sets that I needed to make videos of. Of course, getting caught up on all my Bricklink orders, I can't wait to ship those in the morning, it is way too late now. I never really got the studio cleaned up like I wanted to, obviously I got all the camera equipment put away and stuff like that, but I honestly just made much more of a mess the whole time I was in here tonight but i'll have to come back very soon and do some more cleanup but lots lots got done tonight so i'm pretty happy with all of that so thanks everybody so much for watching this vlog let me know down in the comments below what you think let me know what you want to see more of and i'm looking forward to making some more lego videos for you all anyway thanks again so much for watching if you did enjoy please don't forget to leave a like comment and of course subscribe and i'm looking forward to seeing you in the next one bye for now